Hello everybody and welcome to a new MA Tips. As you remember from last week, we created our first small timecode show. Today we want to have a look how to edit this timecode show. First of all, we can see different view modes in our timecode window. So we can change from timeline to the timeline and text or only the text where we can see every event with the regarding time. So we can also make this a little bit bigger where we can change the time or the fader value and our further events like the go plus with the respective time. And we can go simply into a cell over here and enter a new value for time or the action we take. But we can also work directly in our timeline. So we change back to the timeline view mode and we enter the setup mode of our timecode window. Here we can find some tools on the left side to grab our events, to add some events, delete them or to move them. So for example, we select our first go plus of the main sequence and we just want to move it around in the timeline. So we use the move tool and then we can drag and drop it and move it to the new time where we want to start it. Next to the graphical tools, we can also use our encoder bar. So when we enter the setup mode of the timecode window, you can see that the encoder bar changes and we can use the encoders over here to change the time of the event or even scroll through the different events to edit our timecode show using the dual encoders. If the timecode bar disappeared because meanwhile you selected some fixtures and programmed something, you can always have the encoder bar for the timecode added back when you tap just in the title bar of the timecode window. So you get back the options for editing your timecode show in the encoder bar. At the end, I just want to show you a new feature which you can use in the timecode in Grandma 3, which is called Marker Tracks. If we have a look at our graphical tools here, we can scroll down, remember the two finger scrolling, and we can see the Add Marker tool over here. With the Add Marker tool, I can mark some specific points in my timecode show. So to have a better overview, for example. You remember my stair bumps? I want to mark them in a different color to know when they appear in my timecode show. So I move my cursor to those stair bumps and I can add a marker over here. I call it stair bumps and the duration stays at five seconds. And you can see that my stair bumps are marked. I can see them in the first line of my timecode tracks. So I always see when those stair bumps will appear in the time. The great thing is that now I can use this marker track to give a new appearance, for example. So I want to mark them in green. And you can see that my stair bumps are now marked in green all over the whole tracks to get a better overview of different parts in my timecode show. So try this out, stay tuned and see you next time for the MA tips.